Hi everyone, it's day 66 of the Vendée Gobe and today we thought we'd take a quick look at the virtual regatta as the leaders are just a few days away from crossing the finish in Le Sable de Lom. Joining me today is Zeb Fellows, a young sailor who's been playing the game avidly and is doing really rather well. Uh, currently he's, uh, he's sort of in the leading pack, uh, not uh, too far from the finish, so, uh, so let's bring him in. Hi Zeb. Hello. How are you doing? Good, thank you. How are you? So, uh, you know, I guess, you know, you're probably two or three days out from uh, from finishing, um, still looking a little bit complicated, but looking at your position on virtual regatta, uh, you know, you're not, you're not doing badly. You're in that group that's closest to Le Sable de Lons, so still a lot to, to play for. How are you feeling about it? I'm not too sure at the moment. It's close though, so yeah. So what I thought I'd do is, is you know, you're the you're the expert here. So um, tell me a little bit about the game and and about what 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 what's what's the overall strategy and what what tools do you have to play with? So along the left is the help button, and it like you can set it uh, where you want to go, and it like does a routing for you, which is very useful, and then. Yeah. With the uh, like one hour plus two hour and then all the hours, it it shows the wind uh, like in that time, which is also very helpful. So you can get like a foresight of what's going to happen. Okay, so I'll just play a little bit as we're going along. So do, I haven't really used the uh, express routing um, in here. I'm, I'm guessing it's routing me to some other position at the moment. Presumably, do you have to tell it where you want to route to, or is it just route to your cursor? Uh, uh, you tell it where to route to. Uh, you click, uh, and then on the red, uh, like target, it um, you can move it, and then you pick where it goes. So when you click help, yeah. and then yeah, see the bit below it. Oh yeah, and then you can go like all the way to Lasab from here, I think, because it's quite close. Okay, so if I. Yeah, and then out, put that in the sub somewhere yeah. over there and do the routing. There we go. So I've it's interesting, I've not really used this throughout the race. I've um I've got my own program um in expedition and I've been doing some routing on that. But uh I should have probably discovered how to use this. <laughs> do you is it quite quite a good feature this one? Is it quite accurate? Um, I think it's mainly good if you have a VIP because it only counts two of them. If you're two of the pro, like the programs, uh, if you're the VI, uh, if you're not the VIP, which is like not too useful, but yeah, but you can like keep on doing it and then you'll see which is the best place to go. Right. Okay. Okay. So, so that now has put in a route. Is it now going to sort of, um, basically drive my boat along that route for me yeah okay so it's pretty much looks like it's taking me on the route that i would would be going anyway yeah um and then what else have we got in here so in on this side you've got this programmation what what's that for so they're like the waypoint button but more like uh sophisticated so they can once it gets to that waypoint it can change the direction once you get there by so you click on it. It's hard to explain, but yeah. I mean, how how many hours a day are you playing? I spend about ten minutes, at like, um, and then it would be like every other hour or so. So it'd be like for ten minutes, I'd be doing like all the reading and then seeing which is the best way. Yeah. And then I'd be like, okay, that's the best way. Yeah, we've got a lot of Vendée Globe stars in this race. Do you? Uh... Do you sort of watch them quite closely and follow what they're doing? Yeah, I do. Uh, it's always good to see what they're doing. And it's, yeah. Um, yeah, and because they know what they're doing very well. So you just like, you can also just like see, like if you're going to go that way, then yeah, it's a good idea. So at the moment you've got, uh, if I zoom in on this, we can see you've got uh, Vincent Ryu just not far ahead of you. Um, I've spent quite a lot of the race with with Vincent um, and Armel. Armel has split and gone up into the north. 
So let's have a quick look at the the plan to the finish. So uh, it's not easy to see the wind in here, but you're still in this um, this this effectively this front, this extended front that came from a low pressure that now is over over Europe, um, and that's sort of dragging you all up along this direct route towards the Sabdalon. Yeah. Uh, and a few days ago, a group of boats split off and went north. Couldn't couldn't get onto that sort of train of, of wind, and decided to go up and get catch the next low pressure system, which is now traveling across the Atlantic. Uh, and if I just move the cursor on, you can see the the low pressure here. So we're just now on the leading edge of that front, and I'm hoping over the next few days. So that's 12 hours. It, start, it does go quite a bit further north, so we may well end up dropping off the back of it. Um, yeah. 48 hours in, so we're going to have to sail really fast to stay on that front. Um, yeah. Otherwise, we're going to end up with this northerly airstream, which of course is not going to suit you guys, <laughs> if that's the case. Um, no. So, uh, yeah, pretty. It's it's pretty interesting. Do you know... How many people are playing the race? I think it's close to a million. And one last question: are you, Is your dad playing? Uh, no, he's not. <laughs> is is no. anyone else in your family playing? Uh, my mum and my sister are. They are, and are you ahead of them? Uh, yes, I am, which is good. All right, Seb. Good to speak to you. Thank and, you very uh, much. Enjoy and good luck. I, yeah. Hopefully, you uh, you'll be ahead of me at the finish. Yeah, hopefully. All Goodbye. right. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at the race tracker. And this was the lead group um, as of Monday uh, when Yannick was just uh, still just in the lead, but still tr you know, struggling to, to really get away from the Brazilian coast. And of course, the, uh, the, the main bunch of boats a little bit further offshore were able to, uh, to come up with um, quite fast reaching conditions. And if we just watch the tracker forward, can see yeah Yannick really struggled then the uh, the high pressure area fills in um, and they start making their way up through the lighter breeze um, we'll move that back down um, and that's the current situation and you can see that Yannick is right on this sort of edge of very very light breeze and also you know quite a strong counter current so I suspect you know over the next few days He's going to suffer a bit in that in that position, and the boats out to the east uh, are in slightly stronger breeze. They're in less current, and of course the new foiling boats um, uh, should start to really pull ahead. So if we look at the forecast uh, and just see what's happening, so you know, lead group are all now um, really nicely into the uh, the trade winds around the the, the Saint Helena High, um, and the the situation should be relatively stable, but as I say, the boats out in the east are going to have um, a much slightly better wind angle. They're, they're optimum on their bigger foils. This is the point in the race when they really are optimized to go quite a bit faster. And I suspect we're going to see Charlie and Thomas, albeit with you know some some foil issues, starting to 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 pull ahead of Yannick. Um, and uh, boats like um, Boris Herman, uh, I suspect, you know, he's in good condition. The boat's um, really optimised with his big foils. Um, he should also do really well in this, these conditions. So that's it for tonight. Uh, my thanks to Zeb Fellows for joining me and not only teaching me how to play the virtual regatta game properly, but uh, showing uh, that you can't teach a, a, an old dog new tricks. Uh, we're back on Friday and hopefully with sci-fi from um, from 11th Hour Racing. Uh, so tune in then. Uh, it should be really good. We're going to talk about uh, weather and strategy. Cheers. Bye-bye.